This video will give examples of careers in precious metals using statistical analysis, physics, analytical chemistry, chemical engineering, metallurgical engineering, and others. There are over 200 analytical techniques used to determine precious metal concentrations in materials. Methods range from classical wet chemistry to fire assay and instrumental analysis. Our prior videos discussed the importance of obtaining a true sample that represents the average composition of the bulk. Once the sample is obtained, one or more assay and analysis techniques are used to determine the precise concentration of each precious metal. The accuracy and precision of each method differs significantly, as does the time and cost involved to perform them. The decision factors for selecting the analytical techniques include which metals are present, the form of the sample, the level of accuracy required, the concentration levels of metals present, and possible hazardous constituents. Plus, additional elements present in a sample can be an important consideration since the presence of some elements interferes with results from others in some techniques. The form of the sample, liquid versus solid for example, may also dictate which technique to use unless the sample is first transformed. For example, metal alloys must first be dissolved into solutions for wet chemistry and many instrumental analysis techniques. Precious metal concentrations of 0.01% or lower are categorized as trace or low range. Instrumental analysis is the preferred method in this range. The low to medium range, defined as up to 10% precious metal content, often uses instrumental analysis since results are often obtained faster. In the high range of 10 to 100%, chemical methods of analysis have superior precision over instrumental methods. Non-instrumental analysis, or chemical analysis, produces highly accurate results for medium to high concentration samples. Instrumental analysis reduces the need for extensive chemical separations to produce quicker results and is superior for trace analysis. There are multiple types of instrumental analysis used and a virtual alphabet soup of acronyms used to describe them. XRF means X-ray fluorescence, ICP means inductively coupled plasma, and OES means optical emission spectroscopy, to name just a few. These techniques utilize different forms of spectroscopy, which is the measurement of the spectrum of radiation or light emitted from materials when they are energized or excited by an energy source. The letters provide the abbreviation of which method is used to excite the sample, x-ray, flame, plasma, electric arc, or laser. Emission methods excite the sample and then measure and analyze the spectrum of radiation or light produced by the elements present. Absorption methods pass light or radiation through a sample to see what parts of the spectrum were absorbed. This is the basis of Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy, or AAS, which passes light through a flame containing a small amount of a sample for analysis. The flame absorbs a certain portion of the light by filtering it out. The spectrum of each metal is unique and like a fingerprint used to identify its presence. The intensity or strength of specific lines in the spectrum indicates the amount that is present. Known standards are prepared of similar concentrations and mixtures of matrices of elements. The test equipment then compares the spectrums produced by the sample being tested against the spectra produced by the standard to calculate the concentration in the sample. Examples of several important techniques begin with XRF. XRF, or X-ray fluorescence, works by exposing the sample to X-rays and then measuring the resulting fluorescence of the material. Computer analysis of the fluorescence spectrum and intensity of certain wavelengths are used to calculate the percentage of each element in the sample. It is a very fast method with careful sample preparation required. Metallic samples need smooth surfaces and powder samples are dissolved into molten salts called fluxes. The flux sample cools to a solid disk which is then analyzed. Handheld XRF models have become an excellent tool for identification of alloys and is used to quickly identify the content of jewelry and other items. 18 karat versus 14 karat, for example. 
However, it is important to remember that handheld instruments only analyze the surface. The next example is ICP, or inductively coupled plasma. In this method, a plasma flame is generated and controlled with an induction coil. It is important to note that plasma flames reach temperatures of 6,000 to 10,000 degrees Kelvin, which is comparable to the surface of the sun. Samples in solution are atomized into the plasma, which excites the elements. The excited elements give off spectra, which are measured in ICP AES, atomic emission spectroscopy. Mass spectroscopy is also used with samples using plasma, ICP MS, mass spectroscopy. Our final example is OES, optical emission spectroscopy. Arc Spark OES uses electric sparks on the sample surface to excite and then measure the spectra. This is used effectively in determining impurities in high purity precious metals. Many other important combinations of excitation and measurement methods are used in the analysis of precious metals. Technical advances in optics, electronics, and computer analysis have revolutionized the analytical chemist arsenal of techniques while improving accuracy and efficiency of results. Non-instrumental analysis will be reviewed in our next video. The International Precious Metals Institute promotes the education and advancement of precious metals technology and business. IPMI is an international association of companies committed to providing technical resources and educational materials including a series of videos presenting examples of precious metal applications and a variety of interesting and rewarding career opportunities.